Ron Ed Della, steering wheel guy here. I'm here tonight with Ron Iskandarian. He's the guy who designed the cam for this aluminum Donovan. It's got the gear drive and it's basically a top shelf motor. And uh, timing of the cam really has a lot to do with how and when the power band kicks in. And of course, you gotta make sure you got that perfect. Earlier, I did what we call the positive stop uh, method of getting top dead center where you basically just rotate it in two directions, get to a positive stop and split the difference to set your needle here. So I know exactly where top dead center is. And then the timing specs on this particular cam are what are they for this one? Well, um, the overall uh, snapshot on the cam, 640 lift on the intake, 268 duration at 50. 645 lift exhaust, 272 duration at 50. Pretty big cam. Pretty big cam. We ground it on a 114 load center angle, and that's because, well, uh, we needed some valve to piston clearance, and it happened to coincide with our need for a better signal for your fuel injection system. So you go with a wider load center for to fuel re injection? To reduce the overlap okay. for the purpose of getting a better signal for the map sensor. Okay, and then for timing it, it shows, uh, what does it show here? Well, uh, intake would open 20 degrees before top dead center. Okay, so I'm and, gonna turn this crank. And what we're doing here is we're just trying to ballpark the installed position of the cam relative to the crankshaft, because this is what I like to refer to as a blind gear drive. Mm -hmm. The gear drive manufacturers don't generally put timing marks on the gears. I've got 20, then what do we do? Well, uh, you've got 20, and then that's your intake opening point as far as uh, the crankshaft 20 degrees before top dead center. We had our uh, dial indicator zeroed on the intake lifter, and now we're gonna bring the intake lifter up to the 50 thousandths lift rise. So we're 50 thousandths okay. lift, and then with this magic vernier pattern, uh, it's just going to drop on. All the bolts should line up. Let's well, see. Well, one of those seven positions will line up. Okay, yeah. I got you. You're right. Okay, <laughs> let's see what we got here. I'm going to drop the teeth in. That one's off. Okay, let's try the next set of bolt holes and see if they. Oops, missed completely on that one. Let me try one tooth over. Uh, close. Actually, that might be it right there. Let me try another one just for grins. I think that's it, though. Let me try the next one. Probably rotate it in. You should explain you're looking for perfect symmetry in the alignment of the holes in the cam. Yes. Sprocket with the spud that's bolted to the cam. Correct. Right? Yes. I'm at this point. Ooh, this one's close, but still not perfect. So then we're gonna do one more. I think You're running that, out of options, Ed. You're well, I think <laughs> yes. Actually, you know what? I'm glad I kept going a little further because I was about to thread them on that second one. All right. Now, if you take a look, now, they are now perfect. That's something to be very conscious of. You don't settle. You keep checking until you get it to where you're by eye, it looks perfect. If it looks, well, that looks pretty good, but it's off just, no, that's still not the right position. And you want to try them all, and if you're not certain, you go back and you check it again. And yeah. you do it four or five times or have a buddy oversee what you're doing and have him back up your result and uh, you find the right position. All Unfortunately, right. this is what you have to do because like I say, no timing marks. It's sort of going in blind. Okay, so now to check this, what should I do? Do two full turns and look for 50? Yeah, um, you could uh, you could do that just for to the see if and everything dirty. comes back All in right. the same Let's position. Let's see what, how we do here. And the reason, of course, that this works is that uh, by setting the intake opening to 20 before top at 50,000 slifter rise, what you're doing is you're coordinating that opening and closing sequence. In this case, we're just checking the opening to make it simple with the center line position of the cam. Because when the cam is installed straight up, that's what the result is intake opening. How would we do? Well, let's see, we're at 48. Now, okay. I should explain why we have this 2000s variation. 
I think I may have bumped it actually. Well, you may have bumped it, but even if you didn't bump it, Ed, okay. there's another factor at play here, and that is this is an aluminum block. Okay. And we've got a magnetic base for the dial indicator, and guess what? Unlike a cast iron block, this magnetic base really only becomes magnetic in this one position where the two cylinders come together and are tangent. Because that's the only place where you have a wide enough perch with the width of the two sleeves coming together to get enough magnetism to get a fairly decent, I see not what perfect, you're about. Uh, magnetic hole there. But again, we're only trying to ballpark it, so we're not worried that we're off two thousandths there because yeah. we're, we're trying to make sure that we're not off fifty or a hundred thousandths. I got you. We want to make sure, are we in the ballpark? Or and we, we way the hell out in left field somewhere. And based on two thousands, this motor would probably be safe to fire up. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Ron, thanks. I appreciate All that. Right. And uh, we'll look forward to getting this thing back in this little beast and uh, get it rolling. All right. Thanks. Good luck, everybody.